Today, I'll show you how in just 20 minutes, I took my WordPress page speed from this to this using a combination of on-site optimizations and Cloudways server settings. And in a moment, I'm gonna recreate these tests for you and show you how in just three steps, I managed to speed up my website's loading times without changing any of the page content. For any site selling something or marketing a business, page loading times should always be at the top of your mind. Google themselves factor in your site speed when determining your rank in search results. And there's clear data that shows how bounce rates skyrocket as sites fail to load in just a few seconds. Here's a report from Google, which may be outdated, but it definitely shows that the requirements for website page speed were already super high back in 2017 and have only increased today. But I have to admit, this is a huge topic and I really needed some help to do this video, which is why we partnered with Cloudways today. Cloudways is a central platform that enables you to set up WordPress hosting on custom servers from big names like DigitalOcean, AWS, and Google. You can check out the Cloudways flexible plans using the first link in the description below. And by using our link, you'll be getting a deal and helping out the channel here as well. So thanks for doing that. But this is not another video about how to set up a server on Cloudways. I've already done that. And I have four gigabytes of RAM and 80 gigs of disk storage on my server. I then launched an application which is just a WordPress website with WooCommerce in this case. But now after editing the site, it's running too slowly and we need to optimize it. I'd now like to show you the baseline test. Before optimizing anything, this is what our site speed looks like. And you can see that the mobile performance is even worse than the desktop performance with the largest contentful paint being over nine seconds and the first being 3.8 seconds. Some of these numbers are okay, but overall this is not a good look for us and it's gonna turn away some potential customers. So we really gotta get on top of this. So obviously it's bad, but let's see how we can speed it up from here. The very first thing I did is I checked which version of PHP is being used on my application. So I'm in the Cloudways flexible plan here. So I'll click on my server here. I'll go to settings and packages and click on packages. And then you could see your PHP version here. And with the drop down menu, you can also modify it. I did a little bit of research. And at the time of making this video, the most up to date version is 8.2, but that may be different for you. So double check. So I went ahead and updated it to version 8.2 from this drop down menu and then give it a few minutes and it's good to go. Another important factor is your server location. And you can set this up when you're creating a new server in the Cloudways flexible plan. So for example, if I click on add server here, once I select an application and go through all of these steps, down here at the bottom, there is a location option. And I'm gonna choose Frankfurt because that's closest to me and my theoretical customers as well in Central Europe. And this is going to give me the best results for my test as well. I then recommend making a staging version of your website. You can do this by going to applications and creating one using this staging management options here. I've already created one. So you can see I have this pull or push option for the staging site that's already set up and it's listed under my applications here. And by doing this, it'll allow you to test out different plugins and settings without breaking your live website. So it's really important to do this as a best practice every time you're testing new plugins. Okay, we'll come back to Cloudways in later steps, but now let's switch over to the WordPress website itself where we can have the biggest impact on all of our key metrics. When I launched this site, a few plugins came pre-installed that I'm going to use, but just know that there are other plugins with similar settings that you can use to achieve these results. The first one is Breeze, which is also made by Cloudways. And then there's Object Cache Pro. You can click on add new plugin and you can search for these plugins and install them if you want to follow along in this video. Object Cache Pro is a very simple plugin and you don't need to configure it. It'll just simply run in the background, managing the caching on your site. 
Then over in the Breeze plugin, we'll start in the File Optimization tab, scroll down to CSS Settings, and enable CSS Minify. This simply removes some white space and comments, which also reduces the overall file size. Then check the box for including inline CSS, and scroll down to JS Settings. Check both of these options for JS Minify and include inline JS as well. Then scroll down yet again to delay all JavaScript and enable that option. Finally, save changes down the bottom. Now let's go to the basic options tab and first make sure the cache system is enabled. And we'll come back to this mobile cache setting in a moment. And enable the lazy loading of images. Scroll down and save those changes. Then visit the Advanced Options tab. Then scroll down and enable Google Fonts under Host Files Locally. Then save those changes again. Now we have to go back to the Cloudways platform real quick. Visit your Application Settings and go down to the Application Settings tab and then scroll down till you find the Device Detection option and enable that. And once that's enabled, go back to the plugin, refresh the page first, and then make sure mobile cache is enabled before you click on save changes. Now, before I run any more tests, I'm going to go down to the varnish tab here and purge the varnish cache right now. So now let's run a new test and see if we have improved our site speed significantly from our initial baseline test. And if we check out the desktop score, you can see that the performance has improved to 89 out of 100. Not too bad at all. The first contentful paint is 0.6 seconds, which is well within the green, and no blocking time. Speed index, one second is pretty good. And the only thing that still could be improved is the largest contentful paint. But honestly, this page is not optimized with the content that's on it, so I'm not surprised by that at all. So while we have managed to improve things quite a lot so far, it's not quite where I would want it to be. So for step three, we'll finally take a look at the site's content and images to see what can be more optimized. I've decided the best course of action is to focus on optimizing the images as I paid no attention to that while I was uploading them to the site. So I've gone ahead and installed the Imagify or Im Imagify plugin, however you want to say that. And I set up my API key and then went to my media library, selected all of the files that I wanted to optimize, and then used the bulk actions to optimize them. It does take a little while, so just sit tight and wait. Make sure to focus on the biggest images on your site, like this large homepage image that was definitely slowing things down earlier. So now that I've gone and optimized a bunch of the images on my site using the Imagify plugin, I'm going to retest the page speed one more time to see if we can't get that score even higher. All right, awesome. And the new performance is now 93 with the largest contentful paint down to 1.6 seconds. First contentful paint 0.6. These are all very nice numbers. And let's check out the mobile. This one is still a bit lower. It's going to have to be some other types of optimizations we need to make in order to improve that. But that would be beyond the scope of today's video, unfortunately. Now there is one other optional addition that you could make, which will be most applicable for larger websites and projects. Cloudways partners with Cloudflare, and when you add it to your site, you'll be getting the absolute industry standard for both security and content delivery. And for existing Cloudways customers, you get a great deal on all of Cloudflare's plans as well. In our simple case study today, it's really not necessary, but I just wanted you to know that it's an option and you can get a deal if you're already a Cloudways customer. Thanks again to Cloudways for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out any of their products, you can do so using the links in the description below. And to set up a server that auto scales to meet different website traffic demands in real time, 
you can check out the video I made about Cloudways Autonomous right here. And of course, thanks for watching.